If you were to choose one major artist you consider overrated, who would it be? That's a good question. You could definitely say, in a sense, that art found me. I never planned on making a career out of it, and it wasn't until my senior year of high school, after my senior showcase, and people had started to ask me, have you thought of this as a career for yourself? And that's when I decided to devote my college studies to becoming a professional artist. Um, art is hard. <laughs> it's not as simple as putting materials on a surface. It's not just putting paint on a canvas. It's not putting lines on a paper. It's really a allowing yourself to become vulnerable. Say, okay, here it is. Look at it. There's a risk that comes with that because not everyone is going to like your stuff. And, you know, that is the inner workings of your mind and there are not a lot of instances where you're able to do that in everyday life. <laughs> oh goodness. I don't know. Art is all so valuable and all artists have made some impact in the art world and it's it's hard to say. Or no. <laughs> Probably Marcel Duchamp. <laughs> I am very motivated by my walk through life. Being an artist, I am able to reflect that in such a way that words can't. And um, I'm able to express those emotions, those parts of my personality that, you know, I can't otherwise. Yeah, that is a huge driving factor for me in my work is just, you know, who we are as people and who we were made to be and how we can live every day with, you know, loving where we're at and loving, you know, loving the life that we've been given. I'm studying art and I am loving every minute of it because I know it's where I'm supposed to be, but that had to that had to take place after I took the step to find it and take a risk with it. So, yeah, it's where I'm supposed to be.